Hi, I'm Sam Raphael, the developer of Jungle Bay Dominica. Uh, today, I'm, fortunately, we have some very special guests with us. Uh, this is the Rucker family, I think. Did I say it correctly? Rooker. Rooker. Yeah, but it's almost like rocker. Almost yeah. like a rocker. Yeah, it means the same thing. <laughs> so we have the rockers, and they're from Switzerland, uh, and Yvonne and Detlef. Detlef have been with us uh, some time ago. And Robert, you were seven months when they came before. Yes. And how old are you now? 13. He's 13 now and he's working on his English. <laughs> and you have another one? Till. 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 The Till. So Till, how old are you? Uh, I'm 10. Years till old. is 10 years old and he's a soccer player. You're both soccer players. Yeah, yeah. yeah so you're discovering Jungle Bay, Dominica. And they want to see some of the amazing fruits we have in Dominica, especially Till. Till is quite keen on that, so we'll go check out some interesting things. You buy these in the store, yeah. in Migros, in, uh, Migro, yeah. Migros in Switzerland. Yeah. I know Migros, yeah. yeah? And so today you will have your Migros in the Garden of Eden at Jungle Bay. So come along with me and we'll take a look and we'll see what we can find, some interesting fruits. And you can yeah. see where some of what you eat come from, okay? Mm -hmm. That's great. Yes, Perfect. So this is a plum and it's called a mobe plum or in the Caribbean we call it a hog plum. And so this is quite common. This is one of the trees that we found on the property. You know, we tried to not cut whatever we could to build around it. Uh, so you get some of these, they make some plum wine with them. Mm -hmm. But I think you wanted to pick a mango, huh? That yes. was your favorite? Yes. Okay, good. So let's go find a mango. It's sort of not the season right now, guys, because um, mangoes generally come in the summer and we're mid-October. But I think uh, I just saw a couple mangoes on this tree, so Till, you're going to have to climb the tree and pick some mangoes. Oh, he likes yes. uh, tree climbing. Yes. Normally, this tree is full of mangoes in the summer, but now you don't have very many mangoes because we're in October, but I think I see a couple. You see the mango up here? You see it? I see two of them up there. Uh, yes, okay. Yeah. So, you want me to help you to pick the mango? Come on. To give you a pull up. Ah, you're heavy. Ah. Can you get it? You got it? Is it high enough? No, no, a little bit more. Yeah. Just pick it. You got it? Ah. Oh boy. Oh wow. But two of them fell, huh? Nice one, yeah. Another one fell there. Another one fell there. Let me see it. Show, show it. So this is your mango, the first mango you've ever picked, huh? Mm-hmm. You see? Oh, nice. Because it doesn't have a lot of milk coming from here, that means it's ready to ripen. So in about three days, this is gonna be yellow. A delicious mango. So this is your mango you picked, yeah? Yes. Okay, beautiful. Right, so we've got the mangoes, but right next to the mango tree, it's not a fruit, but it's a very interesting fruit, and you can pick it for your mom. It's a flower. You pick the flower and smell it. Go on, Robert. Pick it and smell it. Pick this one. These. Okay. And you can squish them. Take it. And tell me what it smells like. Smell it. How does it smell? Does good? Mm, very good. Very, very fresh, nice. Yeah, very nice. Let yeah, your brother smell it here. Yeah. Give it to your mom mm, so yes. she can figure out what it is. It's Chanel perfume. Wow. This is the Ilang Ilang wow. flower. Yeah. Wow. So I'll tell the boys a little secret. It's like in the if potation. you don't want to take a shower in the morning, you can just take some Ilang Ilang and rub yourself with it. 
<laughs> and you'll be good. I smell well. Yeah, you smell very good. <laughs> okay. That's your perfume. That's a trick because I know young boys sometimes, you know, we get busy and we don't like mm. to take showers often, you know, so. <laughs> okay, let's go find something else uh, at Jungle Bay. I'm not showering anymore. Thank that's, you, Sam. That's Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> They'll remember us for that. Oh, there's some fruits, huh? Yes. So we have some fruits here. So someone tell me, what are these fruits? Ah, so oh. daddy knows what it is, you see? You listen to Sam. Nice, to guavas, you see? Oh boy. <laughs> so this is a very special guava. Uh, it is, it was planted by a very special friend of Jungle Bay. Uh, and this is a, a couple that got married at Jungle Bay many years ago. And they have children like Robert and Till. They're a little younger, and so the kids came and they planted this tree. This is the guava tree, and their daughter, Violet, planted it. And the son, Linus, planted this avocado tree right there. So now they're in Iowa in the United States, yeah. and so this is Violet's guava. That is nice. So it's nice. very yeah. special yeah. guava. I'll yeah. get a knife here, and I, will, Good present. and I will show you the inside of the guava. It's kind of green still, it's not really ripe. Mm -hmm. It's really green. Okay, so yeah. it's still quite young, yeah. you know. When it's ripe, but we, it's get red, it uh, gets get redder. So we'll get a red one, we'll get some, yes. but you have lots of guavas here that were planted by youngsters like you guys. So come, let's find some avocados. I will show you this interesting fruit here. This is not quite ripe, it, but it is a very special superfood. It's rich in antioxidants, and it's actually a medicine food. It's called a soursop. And in a couple of days, it'll get soft, and you open it up, eat the inside. It's delicious. Also, the leaves, if you have problems sleeping or if you have respiratory problems, it clears your sinus. You know, and we've got lots of these soursop trees, so you can hold this. This is part is of your it, keep. Is it sour? Because it's, uh... It originally was sour, but these are very sweet ones, oh. so it's sweet sop, yes. And the, all our fruits in Jungle Bay are grown with no fertilizer, no pesticides. Nothing, so it's so it's all idea. strictly natural and organic. Oh, yeah. oh, it's good one. Oh, okay, very interesting. It's very nice. It's a tolle fruit. It's a So this tree is called a jackfruit tree. And the jackfruit is the biggest fruit on the planet. And it gets to be around 20 kilos, one fruit. So we've had, uh, I think, six of them on this tree since we have we planted it in 2019. And, you know, we just picked the last one from it. But what I wanted to show you, but since we don't have jackfruit on this tree, mm. it's this tree here. And you see what these things are? Avocado. Uh, avocado. Avocado. You guys like Favorite avocados? Fruit of my wife. Your wife? The boys don't like it too much. <laughs> it's salad. It's too much it's salad. salad. You know, you can actually, you can actually take these back with you, back to Switzerland. So each of you will get to pick an avocado. So we've got one lower here and one up here. So let's see how you do. Maybe Robert can pick this taller one, and Till can pick this one right there. Pick your own avocado. Ah, uh huh. Yeah. Excellent. Your own avocado. Mmm. Whoa. That's huge. Yeah. And these are nice and sweet avocados. Dominica produced some of the best avocados you can imagine. And we have many trees here. So yeah. So. Keep these. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so in a couple of days they're going to start ripening, but if you want to, if they're still green, you can take them back to to your grandma in Switzerland, yeah? yeah. Yes. Ah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Present your avocados. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful, yeah. What? Yes, yes. We're what getting, a harvest. <laughs> we're getting harvest. It, we're just started, so okay. So this is a very interesting tree, guys, and this tree produces your cashew nuts. You know what the cashew nut is? Yes. Yeah, so this is a cashew tree. Uh, it's actually produced some fruits already. It has a nice plum on it and then the nut on the bottom, mm -hmm. but it's not in season right now. But right next to it, 
we've got uh, a sm lime tree. It doesn't have very many on it, but here you can pick, oh, someone can lime. pick the lime. Yeah, we have some limes. Go ahead and pick a lime. Lime? Citron, eh? Yeah, citron, yes, yes, yeah. So you want, I'll tell you a secret with the limes and the mangoes and the avocados, you don't put them in the same compartment because the citrus from the lime will slow down the ripening of oh, the okay. other fruit. I'll slow down. Okay. So you want to put this in your pocket. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this is your line. Yep. Keep Detasha. it in your pocket. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, okay. there you go. Very good. Nice banana tree. Mm -hmm. A nice hibiscus plant. Nice hibiscus plant. But next to the hibiscus, this is, it's just out of season now and it's called a pomerac tree in Dominica or the wax apple. Yeah, it comes from South Asia, but the climatic conditions in Dominica are similar. So we have many of these and they make a nice red apple. And if you guys come around here, I'll show you a very interesting plant, which is this tree right ahead of us here. And we see something interesting on it. Huh? So we have to see its first crop. Yeah? yeah. And it's yellowish, but it's going to get red. Look at it. You see it up here? Yeah, you see the fruit. And this this fruit is called a Jamaican Aki. Oh, there, yeah. The yeah? There. So it's a fruit that you you cook. You have to let it get really ripe. So it's going to get red and it's going to open up and you cook it and it's a great vegan fruit yeah. and you can put it in, in eggs and so on so it's well known in Jamaica yeah. so if you go to Jamaica and you say Aki they know what this is oh, yeah. Aki. Aki. Aki Aki yes Aki. beautiful fruit yes yeah. okay but we can more like a vegetable then uh, it's you no know, well yes it's it's like a cooked vegetable you have yeah. to cook it yes cook it, yeah. okay. yes uh -huh. I saw some ripe ones on this today. They are gone. We'll get some. Go around this way. Till go around this way and come back up in the tree. I'll show you something. Yeah. Go out this way. Keep going. Keep coming. Keep coming. Okay. Right above your head. Look to the right. Ah, you see it? Um. Right on top, yeah. This is a ripe guava. Perfect, yeah. Yeah. So what is this? It's a guava. Guava, perfect, Till. Very good. And you can cut it open and we can see. I'm holding this machete for the people. So. Yeah. This is a nice one. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a beautiful oh. Very nice, yeah? It's also so, a nice juice. Huh? Very oh, nice juice, juice from huh? guava. You can share with your family. Yes, thank you. This oh. is their Christmas present from yeah. you, okay? <laughs> very good. So you get your guava. Thank you. Beautiful. You can eat the skin, you can very eat very everything. Good. A lot of these fruits, mm -hmm. the skin's got most of the nutrients. Mm, very you know? freshening. Yes, yes. Mm. So this is the area of our second pool, but we have some in, something interesting I'll show you here. <laughs> so you have lots of this, you know, passion fruit juice. Yes. So all of this is passion fruit, yeah? So let's see if we get a ripe one because the ripe ones are maybe yellow hidden one. underneath, yeah. yellow hidden underneath. They picked the ripe one yesterday, sorry. Oh, they picked it, yes, yes. They came, we have lots of green ones. Yeah. Oh, I see a ripe one, hello. Yep, I see a ripe one here. Till? Okay. Okay. 
Ah, that's a big passion fruit, yeah? You drank the juice before? You like passion fruit juice? Yes. Yeah? Mmm. Mmm. Oh, really nice. That's a perfect one. Huh? Perfect. Perfect. Like this, it must be. Who's going to experiment? Me? Me. You, you want to experiment yeah. to see? Want to? Okay, if you survive, then the whole family will eat it, okay? <laughs> okay, try it. Take a try it and see. Mm. Okay, not the whole thing. <laughs> you can eat it, that's fine. You want to try it too, Robert? Yeah, see, see. Yeah, pass it around. Good? Smells really good. Smells nice, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's good, you like it? Mm -hmm. Very good. Let's go get some really sugar sweet. cane. Really this sweet, yes, yes, yes. If they're not ripe, they're really sour, but this is yeah. very sweet. So this is the area of our second swimming pool, yeah. mm -hmm. you know? Beautiful. So it gets really, it's really nice and nice, very beautiful. And beneath it, we have a lot of food planted, root vegetables and things. Mm -hmm. A lot of bananas, Papaya. papayas, mm -hmm. avocados, soursop, guavas, breadfruit, you name it. We have a whole bunch of stuff. And way on the end, you can't see it because it's very far, we have some beehives that we've put. Okay. So we produce our own honey at Jungle Bay. Oh, great, so yeah. they stay on the end because you have so many fruit trees yeah. and we get to produce real organic Jungle Bay honey. We have, we have many different types of fruits here, but I wanted to show the boys the papayas. Mm -hmm. You see, they're starting to get yellow. Mm -hmm. And so in a day or so, we're ready to pick these and bring them to the restaurant. They're all over the property. And then in a few days, they get very yellow and ripen. And you get very nice papayas. Mm -hmm. You put in your smoothies or you enjoy the ripe papayas. Mm -hmm. Actually, in Dominica, we pick it green and we cut it up and we make soup out of it or we serve it in salad. And it's good if you have high blood pressure, it's good mm -hmm. to reduce your blood pressure. And so we eat it as a steamed vegetable. When we cook it, we make oh, soups with it. Okay. So if you eat the green papaya soup, that's what this is. Oh, it's or it's a ripened, yeah. Mm -hmm. And here we have some small tangerines, plants. And this, we call it the governor plum next to it. It doesn't have any on it now. We just missed the season. But they make bread plums, and it's like your cherries in Switzerland. Mm. It's delicious, yeah? And I guess you guys know what this is. This is pineapple. Pick it up. Pineapple. And so we have there are many pineapples in the field back there. So lots of pineapples from back there. Back there is a field. Okay, yes, yes, yes. So we eat this pineapple in the morning for In the morning for breakfast. Yeah, very good. Okay. So this is sugar cane, yeah? This is not the best piece, but you'll be able to taste it. Yeah, you just peel the skin. So this is your pure sugar. Kan sukri. Yeah? Yeah. Take a piece. Robert, you got one? There you go. Yeah. And your mommy and your daddy get a piece. How does it taste? Moist? Try it, sir? Yeah. Take for you and Yvonne. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. You like it? Yes. Yeah. Nice sugar cane, huh? Very good, very sweet. Mm -hmm. Didn't expect it so mm -hmm. sweet. Mm -hmm. Straight from nature. Yeah. When I was a little boy, this was my snack. Mm. Sugar cane, yeah? 
Natural snack. Maybe. Natural snack. Yeah. I like when they make rum out of it. Rum, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> nice. Was gefällt mir doch? You see, this is an interesting little fruit. Mm -hmm. It's going to get maybe twice the size. And we call it cane fruit, and it tastes just like the sugar cane that you ate. So it's from the Amazon. And actually, a very special fruit. I wish we had some on it, but it just has some very small berries. But this is called this one here. You see, it's getting some fruit. It produces. This is called a miracle fruit. How do you say miracle in German? Wunder. Wunder fruit. And this makes a little red berry. And if you suck one in your mouth, everything you eat tastes sweet. So that lime you have in your pocket, if you take the lime and you eat it, it tastes like the sweetest orange. It's an amazing wonder fruit. But it's used if people have problems digesting or if they have uh, treatments for chemotherapy and radiation and they are nauseous. You take one before and it makes you keep all the food down. So if you have nausea, severe nausea, this is an excellent medicinal food. It doesn't cure it, but it enables you to ingest your food. So this is very interesting, yeah? Robert. You see, this is another very special fruit, but it's not ripe yet. It's called the sugar apple. And it's close to the soursop that I gave you earlier, mm -hmm. but it's super, super sweet. Uh, too bad it, you don't have any ripe ones. We got lots on these trees, but they're not ripe. Do you eat one? <gasps> You're in heaven. Yeah. Real jungle bay. Real jungle bay. So I. I showed you guys the soursop and the sugar apple. This mm -hmm. one is called the custard apple. And if you, if you look in here, you see several, several of them. You see the fruits there? Yes. So they're kind of juvenile now. Uh, in about a month, a month and a half, they'll get really big. And they taste just like custard. So they call custard apples. So we have the soursop the sugar apple and the custard apple all in the same family, yeah? Mm -hmm. A lot of different apples. A lot of different apples, yeah. So now we're in the middle of a banana field. All around us, lots and lots of bananas. The bananas are a very weak plant, but they grow very quickly. So for Dominica, it was a good source of food and a good source of income for the people. So this is the banana that you get in the store when you go to the grocery store. How does it get here? Well, uh, it, it, you, you plant it and in about one year it produces the banana. This is strictly organic. They get bigger if you put fertilizer in them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it, how to harvest the bananas? You basically have to cut the tree and cut the banana. And then you take your knife and you take out the hands. These are hands with fingers. Three, four, five, six, seven. So you've got seven hands and you put it to ripe. And in a few days, you get your yellow ripe bananas. So, right. we need to get the machete, yeah. which you have, yeah. and mm -hmm. you're going to have to chop down this bunch of bananas. Yeah. How do you do that? Um. So, you put your hand, you, you hold it here, like this. Yeah? you got to be strong, because it's heavy. And then you have to chop this. Give it one big chop. Yeah. And it's going to fall, so you have to hold it. So that's so. Yeah, so how are you got to get it one good chop. Ah, oh, very good. Oh, show us, show us. Let's see. Very good. So this is your bunch of bananas. One chop. Very good. Very heavy. Feel it. It's very heavy. He's strong. You want to feel it? Yeah. Oh, that's heavy, yes. That's heavy, Several yes, kilos. yes, yeah. That's your... to make some weight lifting. Yeah. Exercise with <laughs> that thing is going to, that thing is dripping there. So you're going to take the, you take the knife normally, yeah? And you, I'll show you how to do it, yeah? And you, I'll cut this from it. 
right? And then you can just the hands away. Take the hands away. That's it. And this is what you buy in the store. It just needs to be ripened. And in Dominica, we eat bananas green as much as we eat it ripe. Just like the papaya, this is you steam it as a vegetable, and, it. Oh, and we cook it, and it's delicious. You know, you can take it like this and dry it also, and make banana flour, mm -hmm. so you get gluten-free flour. Mm -hmm. So there are many things you do with the banana. So when you're through now, this tree is finished. It's not going to produce any more food. So oh, that's it. One time. Away? So now you cut the whole tree. So you take this down. This we had to put to hold it up because it's very vulnerable to the wind. So you take this down, you throw it down, yeah? And then you want to chop the tree as high as you can go because this is full of liquid nutrients, mostly water, mm -hmm. and it can refurbish the soil. Oh. So you just want to chop it and then you chop the pieces and you put it on the base to create natural fertilizer. So go ahead, it's your tree. Big chop, uh-huh. Watch behind him. Watch it. Watch it. Give him. Let him. Give him space. He needs some space. Uh huh. Keep going. Uh huh. A lot of juice in it. Yeah. So that's a lot of nutrients. It's mostly water that will. You'll return the water to the soil. Ah, good. Uh huh. Very good. One more. Ah, right, very good. So now you chop it up in small pieces and you put it in the base of the plant. You okay? Chop the leaves, chop it up. Just keep chopping. Just chop away. Don't worry. Just chop it. It doesn't have to be neat. Good. Now you know how it works with the banana. There's a lot of yeah. work behind So it. if the university thing doesn't work out, you can come yeah. to Dominica yeah. and you can <laughs> cut bananas, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go out. Now you're thirsty. We want something to drink? We'll pick this up a little later. Let's go get some coconut. Your coconut, yeah? So we'll try to see how we can open a coconut. Robert, you can try. Here you go. How many fingers are you starting with? How many fingers do you have? Show your fingers. How many is that? Ten. Let's see how many you have when you're finished. With the <laughs> Open the coconut. Yeah. You, you hold it like that. And you. Yeah. That, that's too high, too lower. Okay, let me show you. Let me start and then I'll let you. Okay, like this. You want to save this? This is your spoon. So if you're in the jungle, you have a spoon. Okay. Spoon. It's a lot of water. So this is a young coconut. So when you buy it in the store, it's old and you take this out and this is the, the outer part. But when it's young, you drink the coconut water. And if you look, it's starting to make, it's starting to form the nut in the inside, yeah? So you started it, you drink your coconut. You like it? There you go. This man is dirty, yeah? Yeah. Till it up. Is it good? Till is drinking like he's drinking beer, huh? Yeah. He always likes to drink beer. It's cool and nice, huh? Hey. Nice. Mm. Oh, 
Ah, very good. So if you find yourself marooned on an island and you all you have is coconut, you can survive because the coconut water has all the electrolytes you need to survive. Yeah, and lots of vitamins. Lots of vitamins, yes. And usually, if you leave it a little longer on the tree, it gets a kernel. And I'm going to split it for you so you can see. Okay. So this is where you'd get all the good stuff, but you don't have it. That's why you had the spoon. Mm -hmm. So the spoon you would take. Oh, because it's now very soft. Huh? Very soft. It's so good. It's like chalet, yeah? Yeah. Mm. Like pina colada. Mm -hmm. Totally natural. Yeah. But normally you get, you get more. <laughs> Guys, it was an absolute pleasure to hang out with you today. Thank you so much uh, don't for make it you. yeah don't make it 10 more years before you come back here okay oh, no. <laughs> you have to come sooner That's than right, that yeah. and bring the pleasant memories yeah. of all the fruits of jungle bay back to switzerland we will course, we yeah? definitely yeah. will excellent good thank you so much you thank you buddies around. all right guys take care Perfect. thank nice. you thank okay you, beautiful thank good. you for the nice harvest great yes yes <laughs> excellent great thank you <laughs>